Hi, welcome to Curio Tips, bite-sized, uh, you know, the tips and tactics and hacks for everyday life based on scientific evidence. So in this brief video, we'll see how to enter symbols into the Windows computer. So if you're using Windows computer, so you would need to enter symbols like uh, rupee symbol or dollar symbol or trademark or, you know, Celsius, you know, the degree Celsius, right? All these are symbols, also known as diacritical marks. You know, so how do you enter these diacritical marks or symbols into the the Windows PC? So you know the in, uh, the intuitive method that I've been doing for quite some time is simply Google it. What are the symbol you would like to use? For example, micrometer. You know, so the the micrometer is the micro symbol is basically it's a Greek symbol. So simply Google it and then copy it and paste it into your document. So that is kind of a tricky, but that works most of the time. But again, while copy paste, there are a lot of mismatch with the fonts. This is not the right way. So there is a much better way for entering this, uh, the you know, this uh, symbols, the diacritical marks into uh, anywhere, wherever the text input is, uh, you know, it's, it's possible. So how do you do that? So the best way to do that, friends, is by uh, touch keyboard so you know you will see uh, this is just a not uh, you know an untitled notepad uh, where i would like to type right now so here here you can see on the taskbar you can see a small icon called touch keyboard also known as touch bar so you first you stop is that if you don't have this option you have to enable it so just click on the start and then type here touchpad and then click on the first link the touchpad options will come so options will come like this something like this touchpad and it's now on in my computer you can see that right so usually it's off so you have to turn it on and enable this touchpad inside the taskbar by clicking here taskbar settings and you know or you can just see a toolbar or show uh, you know so touch uh, touch bar right so touch show touch keyboard button yes correct this option should be clicked then only you will see this touch bar option right so once you have this touch bar option it's actually very simple to enter any uh, symbol so how do you do that just click on this then uh, the, the the keyboard will come here see it's it's a keyboard it's a full size keyboard it's for the english keyboard so now here you can see uh, ampersand and one two three so I, I can click here then all these options will I can enter a dollar or you know all these symbols are right here or if I want more option I can click at this Omega and then I can use this uh, I use this quite often silk raw this is not a silk raw symbol uh, uh, basically I'm using a German keyboard so German keyboards uh, uh, you know default there is a this symbol is there silk raw I can share a tip I use this kind of symbol as Silk Road 2 in my password. <laughs> if you are trying to break my password, you know, there is a Silk Road in it. So yeah, I, I give you this tip to everybody. Please use a lot of symbol. It becomes really hard to, to uh, find out, to guess out what your password is. For example, Gmail or Facebook, I mean, whatever uh, bank account, for example, use some kind of, uh, uh, you know, a less often used symbol like Silk Road. Silk Road is S and S. So that it's a very interesting symbol, isn't it? I don't know what is the use of it, but for me, yeah, it's very important because uh, Silk Row is a key to my life. Passwords, you know. So you know, you can actually uh, check for more. I think this is for the mathematical operators, and this is the dollar. This is for the money, right? All different kinds of uh, thing. You can just scroll it in, onto your mouse, and this is for basic Latin. You know, different kinds of Latin symbols you can see. And this is for other, uh, you know, the arrows. This is for uh, other mathematical fractions, for example. And these are some other symbols. You know, check out different kinds of symbols will come. And this is for the the language based symbol. And now let's go back to the this one, the normal uh, keyboard. So this is how to enter different kinds of symbol into. Uh, the Windows PC. So, by the way, there is no option to enter Greek in it. It's only Latin. So, what you can do is that if you are like me, if you are working with sciences, so if or if you are a science student, then Greek is more important than Latin, isn't it? Because the Greek is what the scientific side, you know, standard notations are all in Greek, like alpha, beta, gamma, epsilon. Uh, you know lambda all these are in Greek so you can simply install a Greek keyboard it's actually very easy go to the keyboard setting install a new language uh, and in matter of 
uh, seconds your a new language will be installed here so i have got different languages which i use quite often japanese i have nihongo i also have malayalam keyboard and i also have greek you know so i just simply click here greek and then everything is in greek you see so it's in caps now i can actually make it into small letter so this one is a small letter you can see different kinds of thing alpha beta gamma epsilon everything is there so it's so much easier to enter this for example beta if i put see beta or if i if i click alpha so you know it is already coming up so so much easier friends so i hope this tip has been useful to you if you like this tip please click thumbs up and share in your loving groups and do subscribe to my channel Please enjoy the day and see you soon. Goodbye.